it's Bill Vinci from the Empire Plate Show. Today we're in Brockport, New York for the very first time filming the Jimmy Z's Plates and Shakes. Now, I was just inside checking out the place. We just got in. The place is decorated. First of all, all kinds of memorabilia. Sports, movies, TV shows, kinds of posters all over the wall. Really cool looking place. But, we're not here for all the memorabilia. We're here for the food. And they got some really cool garbage plates. Some milkshakes they're going to be making for us. They got the fish fry, says Friday. Looks like a lot of fun, man. So we got to get ourselves back in there, see what Jimmy's got planned. So come on, let's go. Follow me in. Okay, I'm with Jimmy Z. How you doing today, oh, buddy? Man. How are you? It's good to be here, finally. Well, you know, it's yeah. been a long time we've been waiting to get we've here. We've been talking about this for a while. <laughs> a yeah, long and, time. And the day has finally arrived. And we are here, and yeah. I'm looking forward to a fun day. Uh, of course. This is, first of all, when you walk in this place, the memorabilia on the walls is out of this world. This Thank is you. so, brings you back 30 years, 40 years even, some of these. Well, my goal was just to make the place look like a big version of my bedroom, but uh -huh. clearly uh, this place <laughs> is a lot bigger than my bedroom. So, I, I, so there's stuff on the walls. I literally got in at garage sales when I was in seventh grade, pulled out of magazines when I was in third grade, you know what I mean, and just saved. Um, so, uh, and then I didn't know what I was gonna do with it then, but clearly one, once 2001 came along, now and just... you know, and the idea of putting together the shop, you know, it all fell together. It's awesome. You know, so it, let's hear the story about the place and well, how this I'm, all originated. I'm, I'm third generation in the restaurant business. Okay. Uh, my grandfather, my mom's dad, he was in the business. My father, uh, you know, was also in the business. And then, I'm, and then now myself and Poppy, you know, we opened up 20, 20 and a half years ago now. So this is our 20 year anniversary, anniversary shirt right here. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, and so Poppy had six diners, you know, from 84 until 97. Okay. And, um, you know, and, you know, worked real hard. Uh, but, you know, at the end of the day, it just didn't pan out. Yeah. You know? So tried it six different times. And I was in grade school and high school then, not really prepared for maturity sure. or, you know, anything like that. Just kind of doing dishes and, you know, busting tables and that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. My brother was older than me, so he was he was gravitated more to the line cooking and stuff. And I was more on the dish and kind of just like the little brother. You know? Right, right. So, um, but my brother ended up, you know, going to culinary school, ended up becoming a sommelier. And he, you know, he took his talents to New York City. He's been there since 2000. And the rest is all history. And that's it. So yeah. let's hear about the place now. Obviously, so, what are you guys known for here? And well, talk a little bit about the menu. What Rochester's known for is the garbage plate. Yep. And you'll see an awesome article right there, three yeah. page on the godfather himself, Nick yep. Tahu. Nick Tahu. Uh, Nick Tahu was the originator of the plate. Um, and uh, many businesses like myself have opened up since then doing their own version of the plate mm -hmm. and uh, and become very successful at it. You know, there's places now that have been open for over 30 years doing what Nick did. Right, you know, and right. We're, and we're going on 20 and um, we just wanted to put, do our own little spin on it. So like we do have our version of the plate, but our, our, our menu and our decor is a little bit different than what they offer and we, mm -hmm. we just want to be a little bit different. So, sure. uh, you know, we also do chicken wings. Uh, we have specialty burgers. Our number one top selling burger is the Eiffel Tower. Uh, two bacon cheeseburger with two barbecue dipped chicken fingers and onion rings on top. I did that, see that being that, made in the that, back. That will be one of the featured items today. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then, um, we also have a thing called plate hybrids. They're a little bit different than, they're kind of like a garbage plate, but a little bit different. Okay. You know, and we don't even use the term garbage plate just to be referenced. Right. It's, it, it is Nick Tahoe's trademark. Right. You know, and we, so we have our own version of it. Uh, but you know what? Um, we have a great report with Nick Tahoe's and that means the world to me Absolutely. because, you know, if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be doing what we're doing. Exactly. And they show love to us on Twitter all the time. And it's oh, just, cool. just super appreciative. Like yeah, literally cool. like, like hand raised, like, like hair on your arm raising right. just because of how legendary they are, absolutely, you know, and um, to acknowledge us as you know, a, in, in, you know, in the plate world, yeah, absolutely. you know. So um, and then uh, we know so the, so we have a plate hybrid, and it's similar to a plate where a plate you get like traditionally mac salad and French fries on side by side. Yep. But with the plate hybrid, you get layers, so layer fry, layer mac, and then you're gonna get some pulled pork on top. With, with shredded cheese on top. So that'll be also in the feature items today. So you guys are not gonna be leaving hungry today. Yeah, I didn't plan you know, on it, because I, I see his, yeah. I watch his show, I watch yeah. his posts, I see yeah. all the food. If it's past 9 p.m. and you don't like getting late, <laughs> I would suggest watching this video tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Well, we're excited to be here. I know our food's already coming out, so we gotta go to the table, try some of this stuff out. Jimmy, I wanna thank you, man, for hey, having wait, us here today, go. and let's go eat now.
guys, so we just got our food brought out to us. You can see we got a lot of food here. We got a couple different wings. We got the creeper wings. We got the medium wings. We got some fries. We got the dog with the, with the onions on it, the mustard. We got the meat sauce on. We got the burger here. Look at this. Oh, God, it looks so good. Then we got this sandwich here. It's got the chicken tenders, burger, onion rings, bacon on it, cheese. And then we got a couple uh, plates here. This is the barbecue with the, with the pulled pork on it, the max set, and this is the traditional, the five-star uh, plate right there. So we're going to get into it. I'm going in for a wing first. I mean, look at these, covered in sauce. We're going to try it without the, the, the blue cheese first. Oh, oh, I mean, they got a, they said they were a little sweet and spicy. I think they're a little more spicy than sweet. Oh, they got a nice kick to it. Mmm. We need a couple napkins for that one. Wow. You know what? That's spicy. That's really, really good though. Great flavor on the wing. All right. We got to try this monster here. This is the burger. It's got bacon on it, cheese, onion rings, and it looks phenomenal. It's got the chicken tenders on it. Wow, that's delicious. Those barbecue tenders are nice, crispy. Got sauce on it. Gives it almost like a rodeo burger, deluxe. We get the bacon and the tenders on it. Cheeseburgers cooked perfect. Mmm, mmm, that's tell you. Outstanding. It's a great sandwich. Probably, man. I tell you what, you got so many different elements on that burger. Phenomenal. All right, we gotta go with this plate right here because you said this one's one of the more popular ones. So we gotta make sure we get a little bit of everything in here. Oh yeah, you even got the fries on the bottom there. I forgot about that. Whole pork, mac salad. You know what? The barbecue sauce is absolutely amazing. Great flavor. Got pulled pork on there. It's nice and tender. We got the mac salad. You got the fries loaded on the bottom there. Put some cheese over the top. I'll tell you what. That's a solid, solid dish right there. But, on camera, we are going to go into the shake. We made a couple shakes. The cinnamon crunch. And the, uh, what is this, three pebbles? Okay, I'm with Little B. Little B, how are you doing today, buddy? What's happening? Very cool, man. So you're gonna be making us a couple shakes today, so we're really excited oh, yeah. about that. But you got a pretty cool story about how you got in here and how you got your job. So, want to tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, of course. So my family's been working here for a long time. My uncle actually started here through my aunt. So my aunt had worked here for a long time, but you know, during one lunch rush, my uncle actually could have been used as a driver. So when that happened, that was a real crazy situation. And now they got married, all this stuff has happened. And hey, we're here. And they're here. Being at their wedding, meeting Jimmy, meeting the cooks oh back there. God. It's a long time coming. I've been coming here as a kid. That's awesome. Get pre-merge, you know how it is. That's a cool story. Yeah. Very I cool. So now, which shake are you making for us? Now I'm making a, this is our cinnamon toast. And okay. this is our fruity pebble. All right, let's see you put them together, man. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna get out of your way. So, let me see how, I mean, look at this. Look at all this food, and then we got two shakes. Wow. It tastes just like the cereal. All those little bits and pieces of the cereal in there are phenomenal. Guys, I gotta tell you what, this is outstanding. So we got a lot of food to eat here, so we're gonna get to it. We'll see you guys when we're done. Tell us a little bit about this place and what you guys like about it. Um, actually, everything is perfect. Um, I love how the family atmosphere, whether coming in from college, and it's just for years now, it just feels like a home. You just walk in here and you just feel like you're at home. And I didn't get it this time, but you sometimes you can get uh, cheese on top of it as well, like okay. cheddar, like cheese sauce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man. Yeah, it, it's definitely the reason why I've gained about 30 pounds. So, um, <laughs> why do people come here? Well, it is. The genius of my son that created this whole thing. Okay. 20 going on 21 20 years. years. Yep. Billy, it's hospitality. When you come in, you greet it by your name. The second time they even know who you are and your family. Right, right. Burgers, you can go get dime a dozen. 
Can you get a Jimmy Z dime a dozen? Right. There's only one Jimmy That's Z. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Guys, we just finished up another great show of the Empire Play here in Brock. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. No, we're not done yet. Next, we're going to a graduation party. We're gonna crash it. We're gonna check out the Jimmy Z's food truck. So we're not done yet. We got more food to eat. Check that out. So let's hop in the car and we'll head over to the party. Okay, so we just got to the grand party. Now, Jimmy, you guys got a food truck too. Look at this. This is awesome. You know, look at that. Look at your, your face right on the. We've had the, we've had the truck now since 2016. It's okay. been awesome. Um, so we do a lot of graduation parties. Okay. That's actually what we're doing here today. Gotcha. Uh, this this fine couple, their oldest is graduating today, and they actually uh, were both uh, customers of ours within the first six months that we opened. Wow. Uh, individually, and then they had a date, and then they showed up together at Jimmy's together, and I was just like, what are you guys doing here? And then the rest is all history. Now their oldest is graduating. They asked us to cater it with the food truck. And it's, this is just an awesome day to have you guys come out to the shop. Have you guys come check us out here. Uh, thank you everyone for paying attention to what was going on today and loving everything and, and waiting to the end and making it all the way out this way. Uh, so you can find us at platesandshakes.com. All our social media is at Plates and Shakes. Um, so inquiries, follow us on Instagram, uh, you know, yell at us on Twitter, whatever you want. <laughs> That's awesome. But I gotta say, we had a great time with Jimmy. Uh, I'll tell you what, first of all, the hospitality was great. Him, Pops, his staff were incredible. Um, they made us feel like home there. The food was out of this world. We ate some incredible food. We got a lot to bring home, and we got to come and check out the truck. So um, I can't wait to come back and visit you when we're not filming, where I can sit and hang out and have some food. So great job, Thank man. You. Really enjoyed the place. Thank you. But unfortunately, Thank you. we got to head back to Rome now. But next time we're out in Brockport, we're going to check this place out. Make sure you guys like your page, follow them. If you need an event, have them come and cater it. I'm your host, Bill Vinci of the Empire Plate Show. You guys have a great day.